Hello all, this is Dr. Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar for latest tech videos on unboxings, server administration, embedded systems, cloud computing, simulations, big data, Linux administration, research methodology, ethical hacking and many more. Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to make CentOS 7 an email server. So for that, I require the three most important things, the Postfix, the Dovecot, as well as the Squirrel Bail. So let's come to the installation part of making CentOS 7 as a webmail server. So let's go to the VMware machine in which I have already installed the fresh CentOS 7 and here are all the steps which I will be performing step by step and all the steps will be listed on my Facebook page and the link will be in the description below. So let's go and open the terminal. So the first thing in order to make this server a public web server or a public mail server, make it sure that you replace this IP address with a public IP which you can go. So let's go and edit the GE host file. So let's copy this GE host file. Okay, so you can see that we have to add an entry for our this address server. So you can see over here that I will just mark an entry like this. So why I have marked this entry? So make it sure like if config so you can see that the IP address is the same. This is the complete name of the server and this is the other name. So let's save the file and let's close it. So now what we have to do is to disable SE Linux. So let's go to the SE Linux file. So here we have enforcing, so just remove this and go for disabled. So just have to type SE Linux is equal to disabled. So let's save this and let's close the file. So now let us start with the installation part. So we have to install the EPL repository so that we can be able to install the packages which are required in order to make the CentOS server as a mail server. So let's kill this thing. Okay. So now let's paste and let's press enter. Okay, so now it is done. So let's press Y and let's press Y. So it is done. So now what we have to do is to allow the Apache default port 80 through our firewall or router. So let's copy this command and now let us restart the firewall. So it is success. So now what we have to do is to install the postfix. So just give this command yum install postfix. Okay, so postfix is already installed. So now what we have to do is to configure Postfix. So let's gedit this file. So now what we have to do is to go to line number 77 and we have to type this that is server1.anand.local. So let's move back, move downstairs. Okay, so here we have that is my hostname. Let's copy this. let's remove so let's again check that is my host name is equal to server1.anath.local so now let's come downstairs so we have to go to line number 85 uncomment it okay so my domain is there so it will be taken to anand.local so let's remove the parameter uncomment it and let's paste it's great so let's save this now let us go to line number 101 and let's uncomment it only. Okay, so my origin is there. That is my domain. So let's uncomment it. Okay, great. So let's go to line number 115, uncomment. So here we have the INET interfaces that is to all. So we have to uncomment it. Let's save this also. 
so now we have to go to line 121 so we have one over nine over there so I net protocols is equal to all so it's good so let's go to 166 number line okay so here we have that is my destination hostname so let's uncomment it okay so now we go to line number 266 so let's move downstairs okay so here we have that is my networks so let's copy this let's remove this okay so it's great so depending on your IP address also so now let us go to line number 421 okay so we have the home underscore mail so let's uncomment it mail dir it is uncommented and now let us save and exit the file so it is done so now let us restart and enable the server restart post fix so it is restarted so let's see the status it is running beautifully so let's enable it so that even if you restart the CentOS server it should be restarted enable post fix so it is done so now let's test the post fix server let me add one user for you the password ABC okay the user is added so before we go with the testing we have to install one package that is yum install telnet so a very simple package let's press Y and press enter okay let's clear so now what we have to do is to type this command so all the commands are available that is telnet localhost SMTP so you can say that it is connected so let's type the command that is ehlo localhost it is done so let's type that is mail from abc oh so mail from abc it's good so receipt to rcpt2 another user which is there that is my name Anand so let's OK so here is the data that is welcome to postfix mail server on CentOS 7 have a nice day so in order to exit we have to just press dot and press enter and it is queued so let's quit so now let us check whether it is done or not so let us go with the ls command let's check so here is the file so let's cat this file so let's cat and go to new that is 151 so yes you can see that the mail is being received so now let us go to the next part in which I will be installing the dovecot so yum install dovecot okay so let's press y and press enter so it's about a 3 2 MB of size so not a big deal so after that we will be just uh, editing the configuration file that is gedit slash etc slash dovecot slash dovecot.conf so let's come to the first thing that is line 24 we have to uncomment so let's come to line number 24 here is a line in which the protocols are there we have to uncomment the line so let's save it so after that we have to close the file after saving so let's go to edit another file that is this file 
let's cheat it and let's press enter now what we have to do is to uncomment line number 24 so here is the mail location you can see the mail that is mail direct we have to just uh, uncomment the file so no changes just uncomment okay okay set so let's save it so let's see whether we have to edit any other file so it is done so let's edit another file this file that is authorization okay so very simple same very simple steps so line number 10 we have to uncomment so there is a that is we have to uncomment this line that is disable path plain text authorization so let's uncomment it let's save it so line number 10 we have uncommented so let's go to line number 100 so it is line number 50 line 93 so line number 100 so what we have to do is to make that is plain we have to type one one word that is log in so let's save this so let's see whether it is another thing which is left out over here so we have done it so let's save this file and let's quit so now we have to edit another, another file that is the master file so let's copy this file so very simple steps so let's go and make the changes to line number 91 and 92 yes so you can see that the mode is 0600 so we have to write the user so we have to uncomment it also post fix the user is post fix and the group is also post fix and let's uncomment it also so let's save so you can see that we are playing with some files only so let's close all the files and now if everything okay so we will just system ctl start dovecot so it is started so let's see the status so it is running so system ctl again we will enable dovecot for the files so now let's test the dovecot by using pop3 so telnet local host like you you have already seen that i have installed two things right now the first is the postfix which is for smtp and we have installed dovecot that is for pop3 so let's test the pop3 after that we will go with the front end so let's go with user that is anand pass is my name it is okay so let's retrieve the mail and yes you can see that it is working very fine so let's quit and now let's configure the con squirrel mail so that we can use the front end mail server so it's a high package with some PHP also because it is written in PHP and after that we will be configuring it okay so it is installing beautifully okay great so it is done so this is our last step over there so let's go to this file that is cd user slash share slash squirrel mail slash config so over here we have a file that is called config.pl so let's dot slash conf.pl so here what we have to do is to first enter the organization preferences so let's press enter and let's change the organization name that is Anand mail or you can write any name Anand mail server so let's press enter so let's press S for saving the data and let's press enter to continue and let's press R for returning to the main menu and now what we have to do is to press 2 for the server settings so now let's go to the server settings and now press 1 for the domain so change it to server1.local which is the name of your localhost or the server name 
so now let's press enter so let's press save so now let us change the send mail that is number 3 to choice number 2 that is to SMTP so all is done these are the two settings which we require so let's save enter and let's quit so now what we have to do is to create a squirrel mail vhost file in apache config file so let us uh, copy this file so let us come out okay so let's gedit it control v so a file is being opened so let's enter the following at the end last of the file so here is the end last so here is it so let's save it and let's close now what we have to do is to system ctl restart httpd so it is started so let's check the status so let's enable it also great so it is done now let me tell you one thing now before you enter the IP address at the front end make it sure that you enter this command otherwise the user will not be able to log in so this is control C and control V so lots and lots of people uh, will find problems if you don't use this command so this command is very important so let's press enter and now what we have to do is to just type the IP address let's take the IP address of the machine that is 192.168.68.147 so let's control C and now let us open the front page that is HTTP IP address slash webmail and yes you can see that it is working perfectly fine so let's log in to my ID okay so you can see that there is one subject so let us uh, type one mail that is to abc at the rate anand.local which is a name so hi let us type some address hi good evening how are you this is my first email to you from scroll mail okay so it is good so let's click on send so the mail is sent so let's go log out so let's log in with ABC and yes you can see that the mail is working so let's uh, reply to this message yes thanks for the email the email server is working fine and well regards ABC so let's send this mail okay to abc dot anand dot local let's click on send so it is sent so let's sign out let's log in okay so you can see yes thanks for the mail it is working very very fine okay so in this video I have demonstrated how to install this webmail as well as a Dovecot and Postfix with the commands and the front end on CentOS 7. So I hope that you like this video. So do give this a like. Do share with me what is your experience and what other videos do you want to see on CentOS. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification in order to get the latest videos notification as soon as I upload to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you.